Hello everyone. In this video, let us see how to take square roots using abacus kit. For that, children should know the perfect squares of the numbers from 1 to 9 and half of the numbers from 1 to 9. See, look at the board. Now I have written all the squares of the numbers. That is 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64 and 9 squared is 81. Okay. This the children should know thoroughly and half of the number. Half of the number is half of 1 is 0 0.5. And half of 2 is 1.0, then half of 3 is 1.5, half of 4 is 2.0, and half of 5 it is 2.5, half of 6 it is 3.0, 7 it is 3.5, and 8 it is 4.0, and for 9 it is 4.5, nothing but 5th table only. See here, 5 ones are 0, 5, 5 twos are 10. 5 3s are 15. In between, we have a point only, decimal point. Okay. So, this half of the number only, they should be very clear. Now, let us see the steps involved in taking square root. There are three steps. Okay. First one, subtract perfect square. Second step, take half of the remaining number. And third step, Subtract the closest multiple. Now, I will explain with an example. Here is an example. So, let us take square root of 2304. It is a 4 digit number. So, we need to place this number in abacus. For that, we have a formula. So, it is a 4 digit number. Okay, so let us make it as pair. Okay, 2, 3, 0, 4. So start pairing the number from right side. So 0, 4 is one pair and 23 is another pair. So we have two pairs. So in 2, 3, 0, 4, we have two pairs. And square root. Okay, now we'll we will have a formula. Actually, number of digits are 4. Okay, that is number of digits minus number of pairs and minus square root. Square root consider as 1. Now, number of digits 4 and number of pairs are 2 and for square root take 1. Okay, finally you will get 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1. Okay, you got 1 now. So, from 1's place, we need to keep the number. Okay, from 1's place. Now, let us start. Let us keep the numbers in the abacus. Okay, 2304 starting from 1's place. So, house point is our 1's place. So, let us start from here. 2304. Once it is placed, we have to follow the rules. What is the first rule? Subtract the perfect square. So, for subtraction, before subtraction, first we need to take the first pair. First pair is 23 here. From 23, we have to subtract the perfect square. That is, perfect squares are 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. That sequence we all we all know. So now which is the nearest perfect square that can be subtracted from 23. That we need to take. Okay. So the nearest perfect square is 16. That is 4 square 16. So, that 16 we can subtract from 23. So, 4 is the answer. So, that should be placed in the next, very next rack. That is in 1's place. Keep 4 
minus 16 because we need to do subtraction. Subtract perfect square. So do minus 16. 1 minus 1 and for minus 6 using combination formula. Okay. So now we have 704. So remaining we have 704. So first step is over. Now second step take half of the remaining number. Half of the remaining number. How much is remaining? 704. Do halving. Okay. When we do halving, start from right side. That will be easy for you. So take 4. Half of 4 is 2. That is 2.0. 0. 0 is here. So let us take 2 here. Let us place 2 here. And 0. After that for 7 it is 3.5. So let us keep 3. 3. In the next rod keep 5. Okay, so 352. Okay, half. So we finished halfing. So take half of the remaining number is over. Now, third step subtract the closest multiple. Closest multiple of 4. Okay, already we kept 4. In answer, we have 4. For that, we have to multiple. We need to find out the multiple of 4. That can be subtracted from. 35. So, okay. After halving, we have 3352. In 352, take 35. Okay. Find the closest multiple of 4. That you have to subtract from 35. Okay. So, 4 can be multiplied by 8. So, you will get 32. So, that is the nearest multiple. Okay, from 35, we have to subtract this 32. So, 30 minus 30 minus 2. Okay, so now, now here we have to keep 8. Okay, 48, 4. And after that, closest multiple we found out, that is it is 8. So, keep 8 here and do minus 32. So, the remaining is 30. 320. Here we have 0. So, 320. This 320 is used to check the answer. Okay. Now, this is the answer. That is 48 is the answer we got. Now, the final step, we need to check whether 48 is the perfect square of 2304. Okay. For that, the step is what is the last number here? 8. Okay. 8. Again, you have to multiply with the same number. 8. Okay. So, you will get 64. And it should be multiplied by 5. 64 into 5, you will get 320. So, here we have 320. If you get 320, here, your answer is the perfect square. So, now we have 320. Just you cancel it. Okay. Now, this is your answer. 48 is your answer. Okay. Now, I will go with another example so that you can easily understand. Okay. Now, let us take 3136. 3, 1, 3, 6. Okay. 3, 1, 3, 6. So, before we start, the procedures are same. So, first we have to place the question in abacus. For that, we have to follow the formula. That is, this is four digit number. Okay. When we make it as a pair, we got two pairs. Okay. So, Actually, the formula for square root, we need to take one digit. So, four digit number and we have two pairs and one is for square root. So, if you subtract all these three numbers, you will get one. So, one starting from one's place, we have to keep the question. Okay. So, this is for all four digit number. So, this is constant. Okay, even for 3 and 4 digit number, this is constant. So, let us start, keep the, let us start the question from 1's place. Okay, now, 
take three one three six starting from ones place three one three six okay now steps we need to follow the steps here first step subtract the perfect square for that take your first pair it is 31 first pair is 31 so from 31 we have to subtract the perfect that is nearest perfect square we need to subtract okay so the nearest perfect square is 25 5 squared is 25 so 5 is in the answer place keep 5 that is in tens place keep 5 minus 20 minus 5 minus 5 formula is minus 10 plus 5 okay so first step is over we subtracted perfect square okay next half of the remaining number so here we have 636 let us start halfing okay starting from right side half of 6 3 means 3.0 3 0 is here half of 3 is 1.5 then half of 6 again it is 3.0 okay so halfing is done okay 3 1 8 okay second step is completed now third step subtract the closest multiple of answer answer already we got 5 okay now with 5 we need to multiply some number okay that answer should be subtracted from 31 okay so if you subtract 5 and 6 5 6 are 30 we can subtract from 31 in fifth table we need to find out the multiple of 5 that can be subtracted from 31 okay so 5 6 are 30 that can be subtracted so keep 6 here minus 30 okay 30 means only 3 we need to bring down 0 here okay now our steps are over okay now final step we need to check whether this answer is the perfect square of the 3136 okay for that what is the last step just take last number last digit of the answer 6 okay multiply the with the same number 6 is the last digit here same number if you multiply with the same number you will get 36 6 6 are 36 okay 6 6 are 36 and final with 5 we have to multiply so once 36 is done multiply with 5 you will get 180 here we have 180 okay just cancel it so this is our perfect square 56 is the perfect square of 3136 clear thank you all